There have been groups of people throughout the morning uh, signing the memorial book that you see behind me. Some of them I've tried to talk to. One woman was actually too overcome with emotion and said that it's just it's too personal for her. She wrote her little message for him in that book. Uh, she couldn't actually go on television. But this man was such an intimate part of people's lives. He hosted a daytime talk show. Uh, he was hosting it with his real-life partner. So people really had a sense that they knew Chris Heinemann, and that's a sentiment that keeps on uh, coming across from everyone that I've spoken to. And I have two lovely ladies, sisters, Barbara and Diane, come in here, ladies, who have, uh, uh, who have come here to sign the book. We're speaking to Suhana Marchand. They watch you, Suhana, as well. Tell me, ladies, why did you come here this morning? Just to pay our respects to Chris because we watched him all the time on TV and he was just a lovable person. The program was amazing and he made the program along with Steve. Yeah. You know, he was so, so humorous. Yeah. What did you love? What did you love most about Chris Hyman? I liked everything about him, really. Somebody who just made you laugh, and he was he got involved with people and the subject matter and all that sort of thing. It's, it's just a shame this happened, you mm. know. And uh, I feel bad for Steve, who's left behind, and missed the show a lot. Absolutely. You know, yesterday I was speaking to Jeannie Becker, who is one of his closest yes. friends, and yeah. she said his talent was bringing glamour to everyday people. Mm -hmm. Did you guys feel that That's way? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He was very good at it. Very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. How do you think? Stylish. How do you think he's going to be remembered? Oh, it's hard to say. I think everything. You know, just every. I just can't say one specific thing. Um, I don't know. It'll just be a gap in that afternoon you know, the two to three o'clock or whatever time mm -hmm. you saw it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel really bad for Steve, you know. I feel really, really bad for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, being together for so many years, and he was the one that actually, I think, got everything going mm -hmm. in the very beginning with mm -hmm. Steve, you know. So um, it's, it's very hard, very hard, yeah. Thank you, ladies, so much, first of all, for driving all this way and uh, from Oakville and Kingston and from speaking to us. It's something we really wanted to do, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, for Steve, yeah. yeah. Thank you so, so much. So now we're going to go try and find his condo building because we have a little teddy in the card. That you would put, like to? To leave there for them, for Steve, you know, yeah. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. So, Hannah, you really see how, uh, how personal of a relationship Barbara and Diane had with uh, Chris Hyman. That is something that we're hearing from his fans uh, uh, over and over again. And again, that they loved that this was a real-life couple that they really felt that they could relate to. And any more details, Deanna, about what happened? Well, it's interesting. These ladies were saying they were going to go uh, to that site close to his Toronto, uh, East Toronto home uh, to leave a teddy bear for him. We have been checking in with the Toronto police. Uh, this is still an open investigation, so there's no more details at this time from the Toronto police, uh, Detective Terry Ray, who is in charge of this. Uh, as far as the CBC is concerned, Stephen and Chris has been pulled from its schedule, but uh, further plans as to what they're going to actually do with the show will be announced at a later date. We do know that there will be a public memorial that CBC is organizing. In addition uh, to this uh, memorial book that's happening right now, there will be a bigger public memorial that Chris's many, many fans can look forward to. And I just wanted to leave our viewers with a, a more serene, happier uh, a picture of Chris Heinzman's and uh, Stephen Sabados's life. This was the last uh, picture that they posted on their Instagram account. Uh, it was of their beautiful patio with all the plants, of course, that impeccable decor that you would expect from these kings of Canadian uh, design world. They had just come back from their vacation in Barbados and were uh, appeared to be in great spirits. They said they were happy to be home and how uh, their patio was just blooming and blossoming. It's that kind of connection that Chris Heinemann had with everyone who followed him on social media and watched his show. And all those people are really grieving for him today.